guys and welcome to a smallish Amazon haul that I did. Um, it's technically only four items, but each item has like items within the item, so it's kind of more. But yeah, so anyway, I'm gonna jump right into it and you'll see why I say that. So the first thing is this set of paintbrushes from a, a brand called Crafts for All, called the Professional Artist Brush Set. Ideal for watercolors, oils, and acrylics. Somehow, I doubt that they're professional when it's from a brand called Crafts for All, and it was less than $10 for all these brushes. The funnier thing to me is the brush selection guide on the back. Definitely not all of those are in here, so I'm not quite sure what the point of that was. And I feel like it would have been very helpful if somewhere on these brushes it would have labeled what type of brush it is and what size of brush it is. So I can at least start to kind of try to learn what all the brushes are, but I'm gonna open this up so we can get a better look at these babies. Try to at least take some guesses. Oh, wait, 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 maybe they do say it. I take it back. I take it back. So how many brushes we got here? We have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten brushes in this set. Ba -ba -ba. All right, and we will just take a nice look see at them. This is a number two brush. It looks like it has a piece of plastic stuck to it. That's cute. I'll deal with it later. Um, it itty bitty thing. It's pretty cute. Kind of stiff bristles, but that's good because maybe they'll stand half a shot of staying in the brush and not shedding because. This is why I buy so many damn brushes, because I buy them on the cheap, and then I act shocked when they inevitably shed. This is also labeled as a size, too, even though this is more of like a pointed round brush, I think. Very, very, very stiff. I don't know if they treated the bristles with something, or that's just how they are. Might be good if that's just how they are. This is a number six, and it's flat, just like that. This is a number four, and it's kind of, kind of rounded, kind of angled, maybe a filbert, I don't know. I'm trying to pick up terms that I've heard from other artist YouTubers. Um, we have got a number one. This one's a detailer brush. This one I know for a fact. I've actually got some nail art brushes that are about this size and shape, so this one I know for a fact. That one's very, very nice. This is a number five, and I think is also like a script detail-y brush. Pretty nice. I like it. Then we've got an itty bitty little baby one. It's like five slash zero. I don't even know what that's supposed to mean, but it's... I'm not sure if it's supposed to be angled or if it's a janky brush, but either way, it's very teeny tiny, so I'm like, ooh, that could be very, very useful. Then we have a number three, another little pointy one. Not sure if this is a pointed round brush or if this is a detail brush. It's kind of in between the two, but. Then we have the larger ones. We have a five slash eight. This one I do believe is a filbert, if I remember right. I'm just like, they're so stiff. I'm not sure that that's how they're supposed to be and how to break them in. <laughs> And then the last one from this set is an 8, and that's a flat brush. It makes me think of Bob Ross for some reason. Yeah, I'm like getting no give whatsoever from these bristles. It's like as hard as the metal is. It's kind of strange. So that's the first set that I got. I actually got three sets of brushes plus some paint. But the paint is what I'm most excited about and to show you guys. I'm not going to try it in this video, but I'm going to do a swatch video with it all on its own. So then I have this pack of 12 brushes from the same brand. And apparently they're sewn to the cardboard, but as you can see, they are kind of not all in there equally. For some unknown reason, I can't seem to push them down either, so I don't know what exactly happened there. But yeah, same brand. 12 premium quality synthetic brushes, instructions for use and care. To ensure you enjoy these quality brushes for a long time, we recommend... They put recommend as two words, by the way. You follow the below instructions. 
shouldn't that be instructions below? Uh, wash the brushes carefully with cold water before first use to eliminate loose hair. When you have finished painting, rinse your brushes well and warm to hot water until all paint has been removed. No shit. Um, dry the brushes with a clean tissue paper, wiping from the brush handle to the brush head, then reshape the brush head with your fingers. Make sure the brushes dry completely before packing them away. Well, yeah, you don't want mold. I've had that happen. It's not fun. Uh, always keep the brushes dry and store them in a protective box and never store the brushes on its hair end. See, people should have told me that one when I started as a kid trying to use paint brushes because I destroyed many, 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 many brushes that way. So, I'm going to take these puppies out and get a look at them. So, this time, let's see if I can actually slide them back into the strings after I get them all out, or if this is just a dumb move. Okay, so, we have a size number six, and it looks just pretty standard. I'm not quite sure what type of tip that is, but it's alright. See, these feel softer to me than the other set did. I'm not sure what's up with that. So there's that brush. We have a size 4. This one's really, really soft. Okay. This almost feels like a Luxie makeup brush, honestly. But it's a size 4, and I think it's just a pointed round brush. This one I know for a fact is a round brush, and it's a size 4, and it looks like it's gonna shed like a little beast because I see it off to the edges. This one I do not have the greatest faith in, just saying, but oh, it's so soft. It's so lovely. I love fresh paint brushes when they're still super duper soft. Okay, we've got a 5 slash 0 again, just... Whatever this is, looks like the type of brushes you would get in with, like, Crayola watercolor paint sets as a little kid. This is the type of brush that it reminds me of, shape-wise and size-wise. This one's an angled flat brush, and it's just 3 slash 8. So, good size on it, probably real good for backgrounds, because you can cover a lot of surface area real quickly with that, but there's larger in here than this. We have a one-fourth, and it's just, I think, a plain flat brush. There's no angling there. So that one's nice. A larger flat brush. This one's a one slash two, so one half, yeah. So there's that guy. I think this one's gonna be a little sheddy, too. I can always crimp it a bit with, um, with some pliers if need be. I actually did a video on how to do that, like, last year, if anyone needs to know how to do that. This one's a real big slanted or angled flat brush. This is a 3 8 Pretty big, but pretty soft. I like it. For being synthetic hair, honestly, I'm really shocked at how soft these are. This is a size 8. This one's pointed round brush, I know that. So that one is rather nice. This one I honestly don't know, because the tips, it looks cool, but I don't know what it is. It's another 3 eighths, and it looks initially like a flat brush, but look at the tips. What is this? It looks cool, but what is it? It's not the first time I've seen a brush with it. It also has a really wiggly metal thing on here, so... Um, I may have to see what I can do about that, but let me know in the comments down below if you, A, know what type of brush this is, and B, what it is used for. This is somebody who has never taken an art class in her life and basically just goes by trial and error and has no idea what she's actually doing with said supplies. So, I mean, any education you can give me on the topic would be greatly appreciated. Okay, we've got another flat brush here. This is another 3 8 but it's very big. So that one is, like, real nice for a big sweeping motion. And then we have a size 4, and this one... Hmm, this one perplexes me. Because we've had the angled flat brushes, but I think this is an angled round brush, because look at the tip. But it's angled. It's cool! It's like the tip of a lipstick or something, but it's bristles. I'm really intrigued by that. 
and also would like to know what what is this type of brush typically used for? Looks cool as hell though, so I mean, not complaining. I just would like to know what is it optimally used for? Okay, I'm not gonna try and put them back in the strings right now, but I am gonna put it back in the plastic, so sit tight for a sec. Let's get these bad boys back in there. Oh, I dropped one. We gotta run away. Oh, shiz. Okay. Bad call. Back out. Hold on. Technical difficulties. Let me get the plas er, the cardboard in there first. We'll do it this direction this time. I think that's how it actually was. I'm gonna pick it out. And no, I will not be storing them in this permanently just for the sake of finishing this video. I'm sticking them back in what they all came in so I can keep straight what came from what. Do I have all of them? I'm not sitting on one. No. Ha, there was one under there. Okay, back in the box. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 eight. Yeah, okay. And then the last of the brushes I got are these smaller detailing brushes. And these, a lot of the caps, or the little plastic protectors, you can see, came off in the package. It's hard to see against the black, but y you can see them in there. <laughs> oh gosh, that's funny, but um, it's got the exact same thing on the back. Just there's 15 brushes instead of 12, and they are different brushes. Okay. Let me take these out. Yeah, I couldn't decide what set I wanted the most, so I figured, screw it, I'll get all of them. So, let's get all the caps together that are loose, so I can pop those back on, and then get all these out of the thing. Come on, come here. Oh, another runaway. Okay. Got all these together, I got about half of them out, hold on. So many of you are no doubt cringing right now. Okay, see now this set, they are actually listed on the barrel, or the, on the handles, not the barrels, what they are. That's all I wanted on the other two sets. Why didn't the others do it? Look, see, this one is labeled liner brush. Size zero was not so hard. Was that so hard, guys, honestly. Oh, this is like that first set that's like hella stiff, so okay. Back on goes your plastic. Keep you safe for now. Then we've got a size 2 slash 0 liner. Looks like that. It looks very similar to the 0, honestly. Okay. I'm being real careful not to jack up the bristles as I'm putting those plastic caps back on. This one's a size 1 flat brush, which I honestly would not have guessed just looking at it. It just looks like in a round brush that somebody went squish whiz on one side, but it claims to be a flat brush. It wants to be a flat brush. Hopefully they weren't like used and returned and that's why they're kind of weird. That would suck. I don't think so though. We've got a size zero spot brush. That I didn't know was a thing. So, itty bitty little tip on there. We have, uh, wait, did we already have one of these? Okay, so this is another 2 slash o liner brush that looks just like the other one, so no need to really show that off in great detail. I wonder why it gave more than one. And a size 0 round brush, wasn't there one of those two? No, that's a spot brush. 0 liner, 0 liner. Yeah, okay, no. No, this is the first of its kind in here. So I'll put the cap back on it. A size 1 liner brush, which seems very odd compared to the others. This does not seem like the correct size, but maybe. Pop that back in there. A size 1 spot brush. A 3 slash 0 liner. Boop. 
a four slash zero liner. These are all looking like virtually the same brush at a quick glance to me. I'm hoping I did not get gypped. Ah, goodness. A size zero flat brush, which again does not look like a flat brush by any means. It looks like a pointed round brush, but alright. You do you. A four slash zero round brush. This seems more like a detailing brush, guys. Like, really, though? It's like a wasp's tail. Okay, or a yellow jacket or something. I think it's a wasp. Okay, a three slash zero round brush. A two slash zero round brush. Let's see the cap. And finally, the size one round brush. Which looks exactly identical to the supposed flat brushes. That's why I'm like, I'm calling some serious doubt into question on these. But you know what? I don't even care. As long as they work and don't shed bristles all over the place, I really could care less what they're labeled as. I just need them to work. So, till I can afford more high-end supplies, these will have to do for now. So... Because the other even cheaper sets I got, yeah, they just were not cutting it. So, I went for slightly pricier. Like, I think this was like a $12 set. So, I mean, it's not like the dollar store ones that I had before. But, the star of this show, the star of this haul, I have wanted these for a really long time. And they make other palettes that I also desperately want. But I wanted to start with just the basics first, make sure I like them before investing further. The Prima brand watercolor confections in the classics set. Oh my goodness. And by the way, doesn't this kind of look like that apple? Or not apple. <laughs> I know my fruits. No, doesn't it kind of look like that orange watercolor painting I did a while back? I, I think it does. So I'm going to go ahead and show these to you guys. It is so cute. Gotta be honest, definitely open the box so I could look at them the second that I got it, like before doing this video. So here's what the little tin looks like. It's so friggin' cute. And this on the back, I'm not quite sure what this is. Is this to pop up and make it be like a little easel? Does that work? Kinda. Maybe that's what it's for. Okay. I'm not entirely sure because if you tried to hang this from like like a keychain, I'm pretty sure this would open and you'd lose your paint, and that would be very sad. So I wouldn't want that to happen. So, when you open it up, first thing you are met with is this mixing tray, and then it opens on this side as well for another mixing tray, and then you get this cardstock swatch sheet, which I'll probably fill this out and then do another page in, like, my swatch binder just to have it on hand, but... We'll see. I will definitely at least do this, though. And then... Aren't they cute? They're all still individually wrapped. I haven't opened them yet. That I'm gonna wait till I do the actual swatch video with them. But they're so effing cute. We've got a white. We have pinky. We have a red, orange, yellow, green, icy blue, blue. Purple, cocoa, gray, and black. But the cool thing with this set, my dears, is because they're in the standard half pan size, and it doesn't look like very much for being so small, but when you have higher quality paints, it doesn't take as much paint to accomplish things, so it'll last a really long time. But these can pop in and out of there like so and you pop them back in so like once you use them up you can reuse this tin with literally any brand of like half pan sized paints and make your own custom 12 color palette and then just pop it back into this bad boy and you have your own field kit to go out in public with which is another big reason why i got this set was because i do want to like start painting in public but I don't want to haul a whole bunch of junk around with me that I don't necessarily need. So I've been looking at these, the um, the Prima marketing brand ones. 
I've been looking at Sakura Koi, which I would love to get the 72 color set, but it's so expensive. So, I mean, I thought I was gonna get that this time, but just didn't have the funds, and I also didn't want to keep waiting and waiting and waiting. So I got these instead. And the other potential possibility was the Windsor & Newton Cotman set, which isn't that high of quality, but it's also not the cheapest garbage you could get either. It's kind of intermediate. And there's one other brand that, um, that I'm looking at, but it's not for the travel size. That'd be an at-home set, so I may as well not mention it here. But these went out partially because of how cute it is, and largely because the watercolor confections thing kind of played to my sweet tooth, and it, it's not hard to part me from my money, guys. It really is not hard to part me from my money. If you have cute packaging or cute names, our, odds are you can totally convince me to buy your thing. That's all there is to it. So, <laughs> this one won. I really thought I was getting the Sakura Koi's, but nope, this one. I'm still planning on getting the Sakura Koi's, just not yet. It'll be a while. Um, now I'm probably in saving mode until after I see Ringo next month, since I'd like to get a bunch of shirts if I can afford it. Um, so yeah, that's a thing. But after that, the next 80 bucks I get will go towards those. This was not $80, guys, by the way. There's only 12 colors in here. I wouldn't pay $80 for that. Um, the set that is $80 has 72 colors in it. Therefore, that's almost like a, a color per dollar. So that to me feels worth it. This was about a $20 set. So I mean, it's tiny, but it's better quality. And if it really does make that big of a difference in how they work, honestly, that's worth it to me. Because the cheap little dollar store ones that are super chalky and they can't blend because they have too many binders and fillers in them, I am done wasting my time on them. I am ready to make the leap into better quality supplies and to invest in my art future. <laughs> so if it makes my job easier, so not every last thing is an uphill battle, that's worth it to me. So, also, they go further when you use better quality stuff, so why would you not do that? I finally reasoned this out with myself, so I got these to start with. The next set I think I want to get will be the pastel set from this. Unfortunately, it's the most expensive one because pastels are such a freaking trend. I don't want it because of the trendiness, I want it because it would be the perfect complement to go with the classic colors. And then after that, I'll probably get the tropical set. Because honestly, if I just went by the ooh pretty factor, I would have gotten the tropical set first because pretty much all my favorite colors are in that one. But I was thinking in terms of actual practicality of what I can use to truly create things. Yeah, you really do need to start with the basic colors and build from there. I had the same issue when I started buying my Prismacolor pencils. At this point, yes, I do own the large set that has every color in it, but when I was first starting out, had to go get the basics first before anything else. So, anyways, yeah. And then there's several other sets. There's one that's basically all skin tones. There's another one that's called, like, Decadent Pies, which, honestly, again, me with the cutesy naming, will probably get it just because of the naming. I think there's, like, one or two others beyond that that they'll probably be the last ones I bother with, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes, and if I even end up falling in love with these. If I don't fall in love with them, I probably won't even buy more of them, but I think I will, because I've never really heard people say bad things about these other than watercolor artists who are just really into sheer colors. I like opaque. These are very bright and opaque, so that to me, like that's the whole reason that I love the watercolor markers I use is because they're so opaque and bright. So I have a feeling I'm gonna fall in love with these, but time will tell. So anyways, that is it for this haul. I dragged it out for almost 25 minutes for four freaking items, but as I said, each item technically contained more items, so hopefully you guys enjoyed watching it. I will no doubt be updating you guys with what I end up creating with them on my other social media platforms, possibly here too, but definitely over on Instagram if all else fails. Um, so.
If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Have you guys ever used these? If so, how do you feel about them as an artist? Let me know down below your thoughts as well as anything else you feel like leaving me. Make sure you're following my social media accounts. They're all listed down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, or, you know my art habit uh, <laughs> uh the donation link as always is down in the description so anyway guys till next time bye bye